Dandelion, the grills. We got the Ninja wood fire out. I haven't used this in a while, but I've got some Johnsonville original broad patties. I want to get some smoke on it. And I tell you what, Ninja wood fire, for the little bit you use in there, it really produces a lot of smoke. And today you're saying, Tom, what are you holding there? And that is a pecan shell. And that's from Smoking Pecan. And they take these things and turn them into pellets. So when you think you're using pecan wood, you're actually using this is a renewable resource right here, folks. So you know, the, the pecan shells used to go to waste, used to go to landfills. Some of them go to biofuel. But uh, this company came up with the process to remove the inner shell from the outer shell. The inner shell is better. Outer shell is nice and sweet. And they naturally compress them into little pellets. And it's called Smoking Pecan. Right here, made, made in you, good old USA in Louisiana. Folks, uh, that's what we're going to use today. We're going to put it on smoke, get some smoke on these, and then we'll give them a quick grill. Oh, man, going to be so good. Let's get started. All right, so the smoking pecan pellets work very nice in uh, pellet grills. That's what they're originally designed for. And I'm just going to fill up. That's how I'm filling up mine right now. Just get about that full. Uh, if you're wondering, it comes in. If you're just going to get it from the Ninja Wood Fire, these plastic lines with the resealable uh, bags right here two-pound bag, or they sell, I don't know, I'm selling like a commercial beer, but folks, if you ever haven't tried these, uh, you don't know what you're missing. The smell from these is so sweet. The 20-pound box has got a portable spot on it. I'll leave a link down below. You don't need to hear anything more about that. Let's get them on the wood fire, get it smoking, and get our Johnsonville prop patties on there. If you don't have one of these Ninja Wood Fires, you're wondering where, where do they go? So they go in like this. Put them in there the right way, Tom. And then it uses, basically has an igniter, it uses very hot air, and that's what gets it smoking. Uh, this thing is, it's like an air fryer, but it can bake. But uh, the great thing about it, it uses smoke. So here, a lot of people say, can I use this indoors? And the, the answer is from the Ninja people, no, this is designed to be used outside. Well, there's a, te a tease for you if you're looking for an indoor smoker that uses pellets. And we're going to use those smoking pecan in this from GE2 indoor smoker. Oh, man, coming soon. Tom, watch my YouTube. All right, there is an app on this, and there, it does work very nicely on Wi-Fi. And I'll, uh, Ninja did a really nice job of making sure it works on 2.4 or 5 gig. I'm 5 gig here. And uh, it shows you percentage to ignite ignition. And I just, like I said, I just started it. And I really don't need to look down there. All I do is look at my app. It tells me everything. App says we're 12% of ignition. Look at that. We got smoke coming already. That's only like, can't be more than like two and a half minutes. This thing's phenomenal. Uh, how fast it produces smoke. And that smell from those pecan shells. Oh, man. Folks, you got to get yourself a bag and try it out. All right, smoke's rolling. I've got the uh, Johnsonville Brat Patties on. Uh, you can see smoke rolling here. Yeah. Can that smoke? Yes, it does. A lot of people ask, oh, where would you use this? So if you have an apartment that's got a balcony, a lot of apartments won't allow any open flame on the balconies. And you want smoke taste? This Ninja Wood Fire. Remember, this can bake. It can do air fry. I've done chicken wings on here that have been out of this world. It can broil. It can uh, dehydrate. You can do steaks on here. I've done steaks on this, too. Um, phenomenal cooker if you've got a camper an rv or something like that and you're traveling a lot and you just want something you can put in one of those you know you know cubby holes underneath pull it up hook it up to a electric that uh, you have on the outside of the, of the uh, camper and do something for you yourself and the wife or maybe even the kids because this is a larger size wood fire and uh I, this just blows my mind in fact i did pizza on here once and i'll leave the link down below to the, uh, to the pizza I did on you. Yeah, pizza on the wood fire. It was phenomenal. All right, uh, we're done warming up. Got a lot of smoke rolling. Got set for 20 minutes and we're at 250 in the smoker mode. And uh, let's just take a quick look here. Yeah, it's definitely in the smoker mode. <laughs> oh man, every time. The smell from these things. Folks, you gotta try it. It's just phenomenal. All right, 10 minutes. And it's hard to believe from just that small handful of pellets that we are <laughs> still getting smoke. And look at the color. I mean, that is really, really impressive. Um, we're just gonna give them a flip, see what they look like on the other side. Okay. This is hot. Oh, come on. These aren't the best. 
So we'll keep on going here. Give you a look see. So the question comes up, because that's just a handful of pellets. Can you add more pellets? Now, they do give you this little cup here, and I do have some of my smoking pecan in there. And uh, answer your question, I, I believe you can. That'll keep the smoke rolling. All right, so if you're wondering where the grease goes, because everybody's grease conscience, and uh, these brats have a lot of grease in them. See, we've got rays there, and everything is pitched to the back and goes down there. And then it goes to a grease tray out of the grill, which I like, because you don't want your grease in the grill. Right there. Super simple. Right, my opinion, enough smoke. Let's uh, get a little grill on them. Set the temp to 325. All right, let's give them a flip. Like I said, turn the temp up to 325. Oh man, I think these are, uh... <laughs> look at that. Oh my, these tongs, I gotta get new tongs. They lock every time I go like this. See that? Just locked again. Junk. Ooh, that's hot. All right, a couple more minutes. I got two buns I want to brown up. Give you a look-see. Now, yeah, look at that. Smoked with a pecan shells. That, that was crazy. Uh, got some buns here. And you know what? Pickles. Got to have the famous Dave's. Spicy. Sweet and spicy. And then, uh, you know what? Secret stadium sauce. Of course. Mandatory in the line of grills. Take a taste test, shall we? Oh, nice and crunchy. Oh, wow. <clears throat> wow. You can taste the smoke from the smoking pecan. I tell you what, the, the, the Ninja Woodfire, whether you get the big one or the little one, like I, I got the big one, had the little one, uh, they both smoke like crazy and infuse smoke into whatever you're putting on there. Did a phenomenal job, good job. But the uh, Ninja people, uh, Tom Horse, my YouTube. Thumbs up, leave a comment. And as always, hope you enjoyed this. Tell me what you think. Thanks for watching, folks.